That's pretty cool. They're all over the Oh, you got it? Let's get these bad boys. Like, this is literally incredible. I cannot believe what we caught. Hey, check out what I found you for your tank. What? What are we doing down here, bud? I'm um, sure I get down there. What are, but what are you down here doing? Are you gonna? There's a bug on my arm. On your arm? Yeah. You gonna try and catch some wild fish for yeah. your little fish tank? Yeah. We gotta wait till we see some, cause they're they're, they're small. So here, small? you want me to try it for you? Yeah. Let's see what we can get. Yeah. Hopefully, we don't get any surprises from some alligators out here. Where's the alligators? I don't know. There's like six of them right there. You see them? They're all swimming up. Ooh. Oh, that must have been a little bass or something. Or maybe a small gar. Yeah. Catch them. Hold on. I gotta wait till they come right in front of me because they're a lot faster than Daddy is. Oh, you got them? I got, I got some. You got some? I got Aww. you some. Here. Empty the net out. There we go. What are those? Did they, are they in there? Yeah. I see one. All right, we're gonna get a few more for your for your very own fish tank. Make sure. That's pretty cool, though, dude. You're gonna have your own native fish tank. You see him? Yeah. Oh, look at that big one right there. Where? Right here. He's coming up. He's like the biggest one of all. That must be uh, that must be Daddy Minnow. I'm gonna try and sneak up on him. Sneak up? Why Where did they go? Running from me like crazy. Got him. Oh, I got a little nasty little worm. Want to go hunt for some more? Yeah. So this is pretty cool, guys. This is actually like a little pond, a little spawning area. The uh, Florida gar come back here and spawn. The bass come back here and spawn. And this leads out right through here. See if I can get a better look. Right out to the main lake right over there, which is the neighborhood lake that we live on. It's pretty freaking awesome oh yeah there's minnows there's a lot of minnows down here and some cool plants maybe you want to get some native plants for your tank too uh -huh. how cool would that be all right don't go in just stay right here on the edge because it's nice and flat down here so we can stay on the edge those look like little those are little tadpoles those are little tadpoles those will turn into frogs here dump Dump. Oh, that was a big fish over there. Yeah. What is it? Those are tadpoles. Tadpoles? Yeah, those turn into frogs. We can put those in your little tank, too. That is going to be awesome little native tank. Good thing there's nothing in it, so we're not going to contaminate anything by doing this. You see more tadpoles? Yes. Here, I'll do it like this. I'll scrape along the bottom. You get some? Yep, there's two of them are in there. Man. See them? See him wiggling in there? I don't know if you can see this. Let me try and let me try and focus for you. I don't know if you can see those little guys running around. That's pretty cool. They're all over the place down there. All right, bud. Let's take these back to the tank so they don't die. Okay. All right. Here, you hold this net. Okay. Is there fish in there? No, but the fish are in your bucket. Let's get these bad boys. Did you catch some? Oh, yeah, I caught some fish and tadpoles for you, buddy. Uh, in the fish in that cup? That's your acclimation cup, so we can acclimate them. In my cup? Yeah, well, you're going to put water from your tank into the bucket. We're going to do that for about 20 minutes. All right, guys, so we're going to acclimate Mini UA's new little friends just like we would any other fish okay because it is a transition so we just want to make sure that they are ready so every five minutes or so i'm going to come in here and i am going to just take a small cup full of water about a quarter of one of these tiny cups and put it in here for our minnows and tadpoles so i know many of you might be thinking isn't this gonna like ruin whatever is in that tank that's a completely empty tank guys it's just been sitting there cycling for 
the last week or so. So we're gonna be completely good. There's nothing else in the tank. Nothing else is gonna go in that tank. We got that little tank for him so he can go down, catch these wild species and keep them in his, in his room. It's gonna be pretty freaking awesome. It's just so awesome though guys, because this small little scale of catching some wild native fish for his little tank is just the beginning of some incredible things. So guys, Mini UA is pretty freaking stoked. So I'm digging through the aquarium box from packing right now, see what we can find him to let him just go wild with his little tank. This is that little jar aquarium. And in here is a really cool piece of stone that I think he will love. Look at that piece of dragon stone right there. That'll probably look super cool inside his tank. So we'll bring him this. Hey, check out what I found you for your tank. What? Look at this. What is it? Dragon stone. What? Dragon stone. Yeah. How cool is that? Look here, let me put it in for you. You working out? This is Mini UA's little masterpiece right here. He's got his dragon stone, his driftwood. I let him do whatever he wanted with it. That's part of the fun. I even gave him some of these lily pads that might look familiar. Those are from the 1100 gallon pool pond. He's just got this little light that came off of the wooden beta pond that we had at the uh, house in North Carolina. That's just temporary until we get a lid. This water level is down a couple inches for two reasons. To keep his little fingers out of that water and potentially putting them in his mouth. Reason number one, reason number two, so we don't have anything to jump out. So, it's pretty, pretty cool, and I think these little guys in here are ready to go. Look at these little wild guys. Super cool. Nothing like getting them for free, straight from the source. Hey, you ready to put some fish in your tank? Yeah! Let's do it, move that so you can get up here. So, let's get in here. I don't have a net small enough to even get into this bucket. Bucket? So we're gonna have to scoop. Right scoop. We're gonna have to scoop. Okay, this isn't. This isn't working. He's like Houdini. Oh, we had him again. Okay, there we go. Here's your first one. We're gonna put him in. Look at him swimming. Where did he go? You see him? No. He probably went behind the filter. We'll give him a minute. Let's get the rest of these guys in there. You're trying to get over. It. There we go. We get. There's your other one. Is there a tadpole? Right there. There's a tadpole. All right, we got to get the tadpoles out. Okay. Did he fall in the water? Oh, you got him. Put him in. Did he stuck to your finger? Or yeah. you got him? Yeah. Good yeah. job. It's not very often that I get completely caught off guard, but this is just insane. Wait till you see what these fish actually are. Like, this is literally incredible. I cannot believe what we caught. All right, guys, so bear with me here as I zoom and focus. Here is Mini UA's little tadpoles. Let me get this in focus, check that guy out like how cool is that look how tiny like just to give you an idea oh sorry just to give you an idea let me zoom out so you can see how far away we are and how little that thing actually is like that is just incredible little tiny tadpole that's going to end up turning into a cool frog i can't wait to watch this happen Dude, you have like the coolest tank ever. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so the tadpoles are pretty cool, guys. There's one there. There's actually, there's four or five, maybe even six in here. They like this dragonstone. They're actually hiding, a couple hiding up in the dragonstone. But here is what I found completely crazy. I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna zoom in and look what? at this fish. I wanted you to see the other one. Let me get him in focus. Okay, of course he's gonna hide behind the bubbles here. Where did you go? Where did you go? Oh, there he is. Hold on, let me get behind here. Oh, they're both back there. Let me get in focus. Do you guys see what I see? Do you see what these fish are? This is not just me, right? This isn't just me. Those are freaking guppies. 
You watched us catch these guys. Those are freaking guppies. Are those not guppies? If I'm out of my mind, please tell me if I'm out of my mind. I see the grabbing spot. Those literally look like little feeder guppies. If I'm wrong, please tell me. But that looks like guppies, and I'm literally completely shocked. Like, I can't believe what we got in there. Can I put him in a cup? Can I put him in a cup? No, you gotta leave him in their tank, bud. Are you happy with the fish that we caught today? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Like, call me crazy, but those look like guppies. I turn it on. See? This is like Shiny. really blowing my mind. I mean, I guess we'll see for see? sure once they grow a little bit bigger, but they definitely look to be horse. like a live bear. I saw my turtle like horse. Pretty amazing. I my turtle like Regardless, it's cool. We caught him with a net. And this is Gianni, AKA Mini UA's little native tank that I let him do all by himself, guys. This is his design and everything. We are gonna get him a new light. We're gonna build him a lid so we can bring this water level up. And uh, that's quarter, pretty right cool. Quarter. Man, it's nice quarter. to have a glass aquarium back in this forum. I know this county does put uh, certain fish in the ponds to uh, do mosquito control, to eat the larvae or whatever. But I just thought that was a pretty amazing find because looking from the top down, I thought I just had regular minnows. But that is always pretty cool. So let me know if you like these style of videos going and doing this kind of stuff because that stuff is gonna be awesome. There's so much potential and we're, we haven't even scratched the surface yet. So I appreciate every single one of you guys watching. See you guys on the next one.